I'm going to explain to you how basic distillation works. First, let's start off with the equipment. You're going to have your column or your tower, which is where the distillation takes place. You have your bottoms reboiler, which is a heat exchanger that's giving your liquid enough energy in order for it to hit its boiling point. Overhead, you're going to have a condenser, which is going to take the overhead vapors and it's going to condense them back into a liquid form. From this condenser, it's going to go to a reflux drum where it is then sent back to the top of the column partially as well as sent to a products tank. You have your products tank which is going to be receiving part of its uh, supply from the reflux drum on the top tank there and the bottom tank is going to be receiving its supply from the uh, reboiler at the bottoms. So your flow is going to be coming in it's going to go through a control valve and enter the tower probably about you know 50 percent or so of the way up. It's going to fill the bottom of the tower up because it is still cool and once you've got enough of a level there in the bottom it's going to go to your heat exchanger there at the bottom and it's going to exchange heat with steam more than likely some other heating medium probably but usually steam so the steam is going to come in it's going to exchange the heat and give off its heat to the liquid and then the steam is going to turn into uh, condensate which is going to come out so once the heated the heated liquid is hot enough it's going to start to go back in to the bottom of the tower there and heat up the liquid and it's just going to cycle over and over now once the liquid has reached its boiling point it's going to float overhead to a line and that vapor is going to go into a condenser which is another uh, heat exchange but in the opposite manner this time instead of going from a colder to a hotter you're going from a hotter to a colder that's causing those vapors to condense now as those vapors condense with cooling water more than likely there could be some other cooling medium but you've got uh, cooling water that's going to go in and exchange heat and the cooled liquid is going to go down into what's known as a reflux drum. The reflux drum is going to be very pure of whatever you're trying to distill and part of the flow is going to be going back towards the top of the column and there's a couple of different reasons for that. One, it gives it a higher purity and it cools down your tower. That is just kind of the effect that it has because like molecules like like molecules so they attach themselves to the molecules that you're re reintroducing as well as its cooler liquid so it's going to cool the top of the tower and it's going to prevent anything that would have vaporized from vaporizing that you don't want going back overhead thus increasing your purity the other stream is going to go out toward your product tank now most of it is going to be going there you're only using a small what's known as a I guess slipstream going into the uh, tower but the rest of it is going to be going through another control valve that you're going to use to send back to your products tank now your bottoms product is going to be the majority of what you've got from the bottom of the say two liquids that you're trying to separate and once you've got it up to temperature you shouldn't have any of the tops product in the bottom and none of the bottoms product in the top it's going to go through a control valve and then that product is going to be sent to your bottoms product tank